Hi Vikes, I'm Jessica. And I'm Erin, and you're watching SBTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Earlier last week, the capital of the United States had been breached for the first time since the War of 1812. We have more information on it. Thanks, Madison. And remember, during challenging times, violence is never the answer. SHS is exploring the prestigious Seal of Biliteracy Award. If you're bilingual and would be interested in learning more about this award, please contact Mrs. Martinez. The final Washburn Tech test will be on January 20th at 1230 p.m. If you are interested in signing up, please let your counselor know by Wednesday, January 13th. Volunteers are needed for harvesters this Monday, January 11th from 3.30 to 5. Check Schoology for more information. We have a story on hybrid learning. On January 19th, Seaman High School will be going back to hybrid learning. We talked to students and teachers about what they thought. I like hybrid, you know, being able to stay home some days, but also be able to go to school. Um, I don't like the fact that all the kids aren't there because, like, I have friends on A days and I have friends on B days so it kind of sucks that I'm not able to see the A day people. I'd honestly rather be hybrid just so like I can come into school and like I feel like it's easier to get help while you're at school than it is online and I just think that like it works better for me that way. Um, I definitely liked being home every day you know being able to hang out with my dogs and my mom and also be able to do school but I do miss interacting with friends and being in class um uh, every day it's a surprise that's all I'll tell you. <laughs> so is it going to be different I hope it is because if it's uh, going to be the same then it's going to be too boring right but I do hope that it stays the same with the schedules um, as in uh, you guys come back hybrid and uh, you guys stare like that. And if things do get better, let's hope that everybody does come back. But that's all up to science and what's going to go on and, of course, what they decide. Mm, I'd rather be whatever's best for you guys, to be honest. It might be a lot more work on my side, but it's what's better for you and your education. So if it's working best for you guys to be hybrid, then that's what we're going to do, you know? And if you guys, I know some of you want to stay remote, so I will work it out. But other than that, it's like whatever's best for your mental health. Yeah. <laughs> because I think everybody needs to sometimes, literally, I, you need to work hard, but you need to take your breaks, stretch your legs, go outside, mm -hmm. don't spend so much time on video games or other things because you already spent so much screen time with school. I hope you're all excited to go back to hybrid learning. Now for your sports announcements. We have a playoff story on the NFL playoffs. With the start of the 2021 NFL playoffs here, we decided to ask who you think will win the NFL playoffs. We posted a poll on Instagram to hear who you think will be crowned champion. Many people responded. Some said, the Cleveland Browns, Washington, the Green Bay Packers, LA Rams, the Seattle Seahawks, 
and the Kansas City Chiefs, who are currently the reigning champions. Thank you to everyone who contributed to the poll. Now, back to your anchors. Make sure you're keeping up on your latest games. There will be a softball informational meeting regarding preseason conditioning on Tuesday, January 19th in the band room from 3.23 to 4.03 p.m. If you have any questions, contact Coach Monhollen. The Lady Bikes improved 2-6 to six on the season. The boys showed improvement but fell short on the team victory. The losses during the season marked 2-13. to 13. Next up for the entire team is at Emporia High on Tuesday. Action begins at 4 p.m. and spectators will not be allowed, but live streaming may be available. Now over to Zoe for our weather updates. Good afternoon, Vikings. We are going to start warming up in the next couple of days, but we'll talk more about that in a minute. Make sure to grab yourself a cool cup of milk and eat some cookies with that because today is National Milk Day. Today we are going to start experiencing this warm up. It isn't going to be too drastic, just up and higher in the 40s, even possibly reaching the 50s by later this afternoon. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, today we are going to be warming up quite a bit and then we are going to continue this warm up for the next couple of days. Then our temperatures are going to drop clear back down to the 40s and 30s for next week. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Zoe. We have another BuzzFeed quiz for you. Guys, I'm Tyler Parkhurst, and I guess I'm going to be taking a BuzzFeed quiz today. It's Keely Gear, and today I'm going to be taking a BuzzFeed quiz. Not that one. I'm going to get with the collared. I'm just gonna go with black because those other ones seem like a little bit too much for me. Turtlenecks ain't it, but I like these. I like the color. Easy. Sweatpants. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go with some sweats. I guess I'm just gonna have to go with this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with a puffer. Pick some boots. I can't even see the boots. We'll do like the, the tie, the tie docks. So let's go with red. Um, I like the colorful one. None of those really match anything I've picked. I think I'm gonna go with the gray. They're pretty cute. Yeah, these are kind of all really ugly. But I think I'm gonna go with the moon. I'm just gonna go with the one that's black because that seems like the safest choice. Orange. Jack Skellington. I got Buddy the Elf. I'm ambitious, period. Call me a Slytherin. I have to agree with BuzzFeed on that one. Those BuzzFeed quizzes are a sure a good way to pass time. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.